What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Bose Music app. Now, before we get deep into the video, make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Let's get into it. So in order for you to have access to the Bose Music app and be able to control your headphones, you need to make sure they are fully paired with your iPhone or Android. Now, starting off at the top left, you have this mailbox logo. Once you press on it, this is really acts as your inbox. So any news about your headphones, such as the latest firmware or any updates really in general about the headphone, it will come through this inbox. Now, next up, if you move to the bottom, you have an image of the headphone. And then to the right, it says Onyx. That is the name of the headphone, which I named it Onyx. But you can choose other stuff as well. You can choose your own name that you want to name your headphone. Moving down, you have three hours and eight minutes. That's the remaining battery life until the headphone completely dies. Below that, it says iPhone, which is the device that I have it currently paired to. And then below that, there's a plus logo. The plus logo really entails that if you're trying to add a new Bose product, such as a sound bar, or earphones, or headphones, you can just simply press on the plus to pair it with the app and with your device. Now at the top right, you're going to see this person type of logo. If you tap on that, this is where you can have access to your account. Now, I am personally not signed in because I never created a Bose account. But if you keep going down, as you can see, there's firmware updates for the headphones. You can check on those. And then also you can unable uh, background updates as well for the headphone. Now, continuing to move down, you'll see things like the app version and even toggle your communication preferences to allow push notifications which for me i have that turned on now going back if you press on anywhere in that top gray rectangle uh, whether it's the name of your headphone or the image this is the menu you're greeted with so again you have a picture of your headphones then the remaining battery life which is three hours and eight minutes and then below that you have your volume level that you can manually adjust through the app below that is your noise cancel cancellation level so this headphone has 10 levels of noise cancellation so i can adjust it to 50 percent noise cancellation or i can adjust it to 100 percent noise cancellation below that you have your favorites now with the favorites you can set your favorites for your noise cancellation level so your favorite one would be the 100% level of noise cancellation. Your favorite two is your 50% level of noise cancellation, and then favorite three is no noise cancellation at 0%. Or you can just simply turn on the setting that it remembers your last setting from when you previously were using the headphone. But I'm going to turn that back off again. Then you go back, and then you have your EQ settings. That is very straightforward. You can adjust your bass, your mids, and your treble. But if you don't want to play around with it too much yourself or you're not experienced enough with the EQ settings to do it yourself, right here below that you have the four uh, preset options by Bose. So you have Bass Booster, you have Bass Reducer, and then you have Treble Boost and Treble Reducer. So for me, I like Bass, so I'm going to stick with the Bass Boost. Now if you don't like any of these options or let's just say you played around with it too much, what you can do is just tap on the top right where it says reset and it will go back down to zero again and then you can play with it however you would like. Now Xing out of that. To the right of EQ you have your shortcut. Now on the right side of the ear cup what you can do is tap and hold the surface so you can create a shortcut for that uh, tapping and holding on the right ear cup. So you can if you tap and hold, you can hear your battery level, you can enable or disable the wake word, or you can then have it set up with Spotify. So as soon as you tap and hold, it will uh, actually open up the Spotify app on your device and go from there. So it's really completely up to you. I have it set to just hear battery level because I don't really use Spotify, unfortunately. But Next up, you have your tips, and this is really neat if you're trying to learn more about the headphone or you're like myself and you completely forgot about different uh, features that the headphone has. So for example, if I'm receiving a call, it's good to know that if I double tap the front of the right ear cup to answer and the call, it's very useful to know that. 
Next, you can decline a call by tapping and holding for one second on the Bose logo for the right ear cup. Also very useful. Same thing with all these different categories, same thing with noise cancellation, voice assistant, and touch controls. So very neat. Now if you go back out again, there you have your settings menu on the top right. If you press on that, that's where you can change the product name as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial. So if I press on that, you can choose different names that it has selected for you or you can just choose a custom name as you can see below here. So I'm just gonna leave it at Onyx. Again, product tips. So a lot of these different options in the settings really brings you back to the same things that you can do right here in the main menu. So as you can see by going below, you can choose with your Bluetooth connections. Now I actually didn't show you this, but this is from the source right here. So next to favorites, you have source and you have different devices that your iPhone uh, can be connected to. So it's currently connected the, to the iPhone. And then you also have my tablet, which is my iPad. And you can also add new devices with the add new, or you can edit and delete devices from the source menu. Now going back again to the settings, you can then control your shortcuts, noise cancellation, equalizer. Again, all things you could have done in the previous menu. But what's unique about this is that you can actually change up your voice assistant under services and then you can change it from Siri to Alexa. If you go back, you can then change your preferences for the self voice and then you can change your power preferences so it can turn off after 5 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you're looking to change it to to better serve your needs for what you're trying to do with your headphone. And then you have your voice prompts. You can turn that on and off and you can change the English. You can change the language actually. And then you have technical info, which is super useful if you're trying to get quick access to information about your headphone, such as the firmware that it's currently updated to or serial number information. It's all under technical info if you just press on that. So this was my tour of the Bose Music app. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them down below. Hope you have a great day. Take care.